So I just wanted to do a quick video on my heater meter temperature controller that I have adapted to my Oklahoma Joe's drum smoker that is an amazing smoker in itself. But So this is version 4.3 and uh, I got this one in a kit that required me soldering and downloading software and some assembly and um, you can also get it pre-assembled which it costs a little more than a kit so soldering and electrical components and ICs and all that's not your thing you can get it pre-assembled um, I also have the it's a thermocouple option you can get thermistor or thermocouple thermocouples from thermoworks a little bit more precise than the thermistor type probe and so I, I had the temperature set at 190 degrees earlier. I mean, it stayed like that for three hours, and I just bumped it up to 225, probably the last half hour. And uh, it's it's holding right around there. And uh, the the percent you see in the brackets going up and down that's the actual fan speed from zero to 100 percent. That's the amount of speed that it's running right now. It's like 12, 13 percent. And it's only like a, I think a 15 CFM little microcomputer fan that's, that's housed inside this, this um, uh, air intake with a variable aperture. The little fans inside there and a servo motor opens and closes the aperture. And I have it adapted to fit my, like I said, my, the intake of my Oklahoma Joe's drum smoker. And, and this doesn't even get hot. You know, I was kind of concerned how close it was, and but no, nah, it's. I mean, yesterday I did a a chuck rose for I think it was seven hours at 250 degrees. Same thing. And a few days ago I did some chicken at 300 degrees. Same thing. I just I guess there's enough of an air gap in there that this doesn't even get hot to the touch. So I don't see an issue with that happening. And uh, but and this thing I got the wireless version the so I can like monitor it on the app that's on my phone or I can pull it up on my PC change a bunch of settings and uh, it's 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 very um, adaptable programmable it even has an open lid function uh, it just I mean this thing's amazing for what it does and for the price um, I bought everything from the heater meter store just I mean, because it was just, it was cheap enough, and I still come out a lot cheaper than, uh, I think, some of the other PID-controlled, uh, temp controllers that are out there, with the fans either on or off, but just like I say, it has variable intake, aperture, variable fan speed, so it, I mean, it, it holds, once it settles down, the temps are like, it just, it stays right there, and when you open the lid, you know, it shuts down for a few minutes. You can program how long that is till the temperatures uh, reco recover, and then you can. It goes right back to where you had it programmed. Um, you can graph it. It just just a lot of cool features about it. So, um, yeah, I'm really I'm really digging it. So if, if you're looking for a a nice temperature controller that won't break the bank, check it out. Heat a meter.